Kitchen Valley. This is Marie's Kitchen and welcome. I'm here today with a chef, Joyce Thotty, and she's local, at least part-time, and in Ketchum, and she wrote this beautiful book called The Chef Within. We'll talk about it a little bit later. Okay. And Joyce, could you please tell us and our viewers, what are we making today? Well, it's summer, and we all know how hot it is. Yes. Salads are the perfect thing to eat in summer, right? Indeed. And I thought we would start, well, and there is a really awesome salad chapter. Pretty extensive. Yes, yes, we talked so, about that, and I will I will um, show our viewers, and then we'll talk about where they can find it, and et cetera, yeah. et cetera. But it's a cool book. I love the picture. Recipe, very easy. We'll yes. talk about that. Yes. I think everybody should have that one. So there is a recipe in there for what I call the clear coleslaw base. Okay. and. I love to make coleslaw because I always have cabbage on hand, <laughs> and I love cabbage. So the dressing is like super, super easy. Okay. We're gonna like, we're gonna put that together in less than 60 seconds practically, and um, see like where this goes. Don't you like recipes recipe. like that? Yes, I do. Me too, me yes, too. Yes, I do. So what it starts with is um, three tablespoons of sugar. Okay. All right, so we'll just uh, measure that. Mm -hmm. And then it calls for three tablespoons of Vinegar, vinegar, and we're going to use the um, the plain, not the seasoned okay. rice vinegar. So we're going to do equal parts yes. of the vinegar, which will be three of these, right? Now let me ask you, Joyce, yeah. can you use just white uh, vinegar? Absolutely, okay. yes. Right. If you have that, uh, I am all about using what's in the cupboard. Uh, Don't run to the store to buy rice vinegar. So absolutely. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I'm the same way. And then it calls for two tablespoons of oil. Okay. Now, it calls for vegetable oil. All right. But I love to do a variation, an Asian variation. Okay. So instead of just doing two tablespoons of vegetable oil, we're going to do one tablespoon of the vegetable oil. Uh-huh. And one oh, tablespoon of the sesame, sesame to give it that oil. sort yeah, of little, Asian. Yes. Whoops, whoops, drip, drip, drip. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. A little Asian flair. Yes. So there's that. And then the last two ingredients are salt and pepper. Okay. So we'll do a, a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Oh, I love your salt, Marie. It's beautiful. Let's go, sure. Woohoo! And a half teaspoon of pepper. So nice. That is our dressing. Can you believe how easy? <laughs> All right. How long did that take, huh? Oh. No, I like. So. And it, it doesn't emulsify, so you know we don't expect it to. But let's just set that aside for okay. just a moment, okay? And uh, here's the cabbage. Now I cut this ahead you of did. time. Yes, and it's I just, beautiful. Oh my gosh! It it's, helps have a sharp knife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes. But you could, you know, you can coarse chop it. You really, it doesn't matter exactly how you cut your cabbage. But once again, so whatever, however you want to handle yeah, that. Yeah, everybody has their own style, right? Exactly. Yes, I so agree. you keep with that. And um, since it is Asian, I love to do green onions. And I like to cut my onions. I don't know if, I know, if you can see. I know, that is so beautiful. This is chef cutting, because I don't cut <laughs> You're my green funny. onions. Yeah. You're too funny. But all you do is, is you yeah. just cut it on a white bias, yes. OK? So I'm just going to. I can do it. I don't think about it, because my brain is not like a chef brain. <laughs> but you know, sometimes we do things out of habit, right? That's we just, true. It's like autopilot. Mm -hmm. And so it's nice to always pause for a minute and just think, oh, how could I do that different? Or, Look how beautiful so it is. We're just going to so add and those. And we're just going to add that mm -hmm. in the coleslaw. Yes. yes. And once again, because it's Asian, I'm, uh, I'm gonna, I, I slice some red peppers. Mm -hmm. I love the color. Oh, yes. So you could do that. If you wanted to um, grate some carrots in there, that would be awesome too. I, cabbage, coleslaw can be anything you have on hand and anything you feel like mm -hmm. adding. So the last thing we're gonna do, because it is Asian, we're gonna add a little cilantro. cilantro. And I just, I was gonna show, um, how I use cilantro. I'm, okay. I'm rinsing it here in the sink. You probably can't see me, but I have the whole bunch, and I'm just just shake it. shaking it, getting mm -hmm. as much water off Out. as I can. Yes, and then I'm just going to cut off a little section here, maybe okay. 
Maybe that. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll set the rest aside. Oh, it smells so good. Doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. So now let me ask you because I know a bunch of my friends doesn't like cilantro. Because, oh. Because of that smell and the taste. Yeah. But we can use parsley, right? You could use parsley. You can leave it out. Oh, it, you can it really, leave it out. It really doesn't matter. I will use a little bit of parsley and you just know, for the color. If you weren't doing Asian, or maybe even if you were doing Asian, you could even use basil. You know, yeah. or Thai basil or something like that. Mm -hmm. So Good idea. I think that is probably about right for our mm -hmm. so I'll just and um, the green's gonna look and you so notice pretty. I didn't pick out the stems or anything before I cut I right. just those stems are so tender mm -hmm. I'd, I think it's perfectly fine to just use it all otherwise it's too laborious to pick <laughs> off every leaf Ooh, I, I could never have the patience to do that so all right and then maybe another uh, whisk yeah let me stir these up just a tiny bit whoa do you want to go ahead and uh, put the dressing? If you want to. Yeah, I let's do. do. Do you want me to put the whole thing and then you Yes, go ahead and okay. do it all. And you know, if you were, um, if you had a bigger head of cabbage, this is really enough dressing for a small mm -hmm. head of cabbage. Then I think this is for what? Four, you know? Maybe four people as an appetizer, oh, three. Yes, at oh, least. it smells mm -hmm. so good. I think the sesame oil is. It makes it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I know. It does. But you could also so easily double that. Uh, recipe. Yeah, for, and then uh, um, we'll show where to find in your book because that recipe is in your book. It is. Yes, absolutely. So, okay, I think that's nicely tossed, and uh, because it's a ooh, sorry, that's kind of loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just sprinkle some sesame, sesame seeds sesame. just because I I love that. You can and do that's the white one because we have black sesame. Oh, that's true, and you could do black too. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. It, it, the contrast of color would be yeah. very pretty. Yeah. Sliced uh, toasted almonds would be beautiful. Oh yes. for a garnish too, or yes. sliver. I mean, this is all about you just kind of doing what you enjoy doing, right? I agree. So 100%. let's um, let's and let then, that. Sit now, you know what, Joyce? What? We are going to go and do my favorite part of the show. It's always the tasting. Oh, yes. So we'll be right back with a tasting of coleslaw. Okay. Welcome back. And here we are, Joyce, my favorite part of the show. <laughs> Can you pour some of your beautiful coleslaw in the plate? Absolutely. Please? And you know, one thing, Marie, if, uh, if you've had a coleslaw that's been sitting for any length of time, you just want to give it a final toss, right? Okay. Before you yes. um, take it to the table. So I will do that with this. Okay. And give and you. Sir, yes. I'll, I'll keep, I'll try to keep portions uh, dainty, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and, uh, ooh, since you have gone to so much trouble to make this look beautiful, <laughs> I think I have to add some sesame seeds yes, indeed. to the top of that. But and once can again, I, can I add this to? Lovely. The, okay. Yes. Oh, I love it. This is beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Gosh. All right. Here we go. I think we're going to uh, taste this, Joyce. Okay. But I want to hear a little bit about, you know, for me, my viewers know by now that um, cooking is love. But you, you went to school for that. Uh-huh. And, and we mentioned Cordon Bleu. Yes. Where was it? And how did you come up wanting to do that? Well, you know, the, the long story is I'd never walked into a kitchen until I was married. Uh -oh. <laughs> and, and when we were married, we were in school penniless. Uh -huh. you, you've, can, uh -huh. Everybody can relate to that. Yes. And so I made everything from scratch. Wow. Everything, bread, pasta. I, I didn't buy anything ready-made. So I learned to cook and I, I loved and you it. loved it. Uh, when my kids would go to school, I'd spend all day Cooking, cooking like a four course meal for him <laughs> for dinner that night. Is that crazy? Yeah. I was a woman obsessed. But my husband, he recognized my interest. And um, he says, you know, you're so passionate about this. Let's get you to cooking school. Oh, wow. So he sacrificed a four month summer. Oh, he wow. took our two sons and went fishing in um, Eastern Idaho. Uh -huh. And I went to Ottawa, where Cordon Bleu had a program there. Okay, yes. And I did the program there oh, and wow. uh, came back hooked. With than, your diploma. And with a diploma, <laughs> yes. So well, let's taste okay. one of your recipe. I, it looks fantastic. It's and, very fresh and, and summery. I think the, the cutting makes also a big difference in the plate, I think. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. 
I think that sesame, sesame oil. It makes it, doesn't mm -hmm. it? it? Every does. time I serve this, you know, take it to a potluck or wherever, mm -hmm. I always get recipe requests. Oh, boy. It's and it's, really good. it's so flattering because it's so easy mm -hmm. and really so delicious. So. Oh, it is delicious. So In my case, because I love, love vinegar, mm. I will go and put some more vinegar. I just love vinegar. Do it. Oh, yeah. I will. It's yeah. delicious. And again, we can find this recipe in your book. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to show those two Aww. little girls. Those are my two youngest oh. granddaughters. Oh, thank you. And what's They're funny adorable. is that May is really a foodie. She spends a lot of time in the kitchen. So Look at she her has, eyes. I know. It says a lot, right? She gets excited about so the kitchen. Well, thank you so much, Joyce, for uh, joining in uh, my kitchen. Uh, joining me in my kitchen, I'm sorry. And um, cooking is love for me. Good my view, viewers know that. I know, I can tell. We share a lot of in common. And oops, sorry. And please sit down with friends and family and share a meal together. Until next time. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> <laughs>